When I was a kid, we had no idea what was going on at Rocky Flats. The plant was owned and operated by Rockwell and Dow Chemical before that, but the rumor in the neighborhood was that they were making household cleaning supplies. My mother thought they were making scrubbing bubbles. And then even when I worked at Rocky Flats, worked next to 14.2 metric tons of plutonium, much of it unsafely stored, we still, I think my greatest fear was um, you know, what, what I didn't know and what they weren't telling us. And it wasn't until one night I came home from work, I put my kids to bed, I turned on the television, and there was a Nightline program on Rocky Flats. But I have to say, it wasn't until I began the, the serious research for this book, 12 years in the making, that I really began to understand what had happened at Rocky Flats, the environmental consequences, and the environmental problems that continue to the present day, even as they're building new homes and and businesses and, and new highways on contaminated land.